and welcome back to another video on my shadow band youtube channel so it looks like in india there's a thing called bal adhar i don't know if i'm saying that correctly i'm not indian and i don't really give a shit what the pronunciation is uh but as you can see the word ball is being used uh we all know uh about that so i'm just going to read a little summary of this and I'm going to keep this video short because people's attention spans these days are, you know, smaller than the, the attention span of a uh, worm. So, uh, the Ball Adhar card biometric update mandatory. What is it and how to update? UIDAI uh, DAI has issued a mandatory guidelines to update biometric information of children between the age of 5 and 15 years old. The Ball Adhar card, Adhar, I don't know, card, here are the details. In short, uh, the UIDAI issues a Ball Adhar for children under 5 years of age. It is mandatory up, mandatory update. Once the child is five years old, uh, it can be updated by visiting the nearest Adhar Enrollment Center with required documents. The Unique Identification Authority of India, the UIDAI, has released a new guideline regarding children's Adhar card, BAL Adhar. Uh, the authority has issued a mandatory guidelines to update biometric information in ADHAR data for children attain attaining the age of 5 to 15 years old. The UIDAI took to Twitter and informed that updating the biometric details of children between ages 5 and 15 years old is mandatory and the procedure is free of cost. Uh, along with that, the UIDAI has also announced another in another tweet that there will be no change in the child's ADHAR number after updating biometrics, so parents are asked to visit the nearest enrollment center to fill the form and update the biometric data for their children. Yeah, so I don't, I'm not going to go ahead and, and read the rest. Uh, I just wanted to put this out there real quick to let people know what they are doing and who is the ruler of this earth? And if it's said in the Bible, we know who the ruler of this world is. Uh, and it's insane that I see references to Baal and Satan and all these demonic forces all over the world. And we're seeing it right now with this demonic thing that they're trying to push towards children with the name Baal. And it is absolutely disgusting. Uh, I see this stuff every single day now with the chomos and uh, cannibalistic things and really just straight up awful things that are pushed towards children. Uh, like that movie, the Santa Claus, there was just a little scene in it, supposedly a kid's movie where it said, we love, we love you Satan. Uh, and then there was another one after that, that was even worse. I don't remember what it was. It was like an episode after that, that was even, believe it or not, worse than we love you Satan, uh, that came after. And I, I was just absolutely appalled by it. But these are the kind of people who are ruling our world, and these are the kind of things that they're trying to push on our children. These are the kind of names that they want to push out there and let people know who is ruling this world and who these puppets and demonic forces, who they support and what they support. Um, and if you don't know what ball is, uh, you might want to go ahead and look that up. It's just as messed up as Baphomet, the transgendered half-man, half-animal creature that the Masons worship. Uh, but I just wanted to put this out there real quick. Anyway, uh, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I just like to keep people informed. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like what you heard. And uh, that's pretty much it. Take care and have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye-bye.